Hello guys, this is Shirodip once again and you are watching some late tutorial series. Now, in this particular tutorial, we're gonna we're gonna start uh, our first uh, servlet class. We're gonna make our first servlet class. To do that, uh, we required uh, the our uh, we required a dynamic web project. So we can create a dynamic web project from file and click new. Then uh, you go to the other section and here we you will get a lot of option but uh, we will be requiring this particular web segment over here mm -hmm. and and go to this dynamic web project okay then click next and give your project name as first servlet like this and uh, you can go to the next section and uh, click next and you can uh, give the name as as ever what you have liked but uh, leave is default leave as default first uh, program and click finish now you can see that your first tablet uh, is being created now you go to the this uh, click this one is this the folder path and you will get lot of option over here and uh, we will be requiring that you can go to the web web content and meta inf and web inf so leave is empty over here and you can go to the java resource folder and that is the source file and source file is presently containing empty now we will create our first sublet class uh, that is right click new and click new class and give the name as hello sublet okay and uh, your source folder is like that you can define your package but uh, leave us at as default uh, no is will be not causing any problem so click finish now your servlet class is being ready now we will be uh, we will uh, just develop our first uh, servlet class that is a hello servlet java now we will extend our uh, hello servlet okay we will extend our http servlet to deploy our servlet uh, servlet various method so you can get an error and click that and import http servlet okay now uh, you have uh, your http servlet over here you have to import a uh, lot of files over here and go for import java x dot servlet dot http dot HTTP servlet, yeah, this one, and now we can import Java X dot servlet dot HTTP dot. Uh, there is no option actually because yes, like this, and you will get HTTP servlet response, and we have to just import and uh, make it copy and paste and just here also we have to get servlet response okay now after that you have to just import some of both two files also that is uh, you can import this will require actually this is the package you will be requiring java.io.io exception okay this one and you have required import.java.io dot print writer class okay this one okay so now your servlet uh, is being ready almost and we will be writing some method over here that is a service method okay now this will create your servlet service method for your servlet and like this we will require http servlet request request and we will be requiring http servlet response response okay now it is a it is a checked exception type of uh, segment so we will require throw keyword and which will throw servlet exception and 
and IO exception. Okay, now here, uh, okay, now you can just open your presses and you can declare print writer out equals to response dot get writer it will be needed for you to write something uh, in your web page and we will be requiring out the print element statement and you can declare hello from sublet <coughs> sorry and mm, this is this is your first uh, sublet program here i have written mistakenly the up w will be capital letter okay so now your sublet is being ready uh, to just you can save it okay now here is some error this line particular okay for sublet you require this and for IO you need um, key you will be requiring I guess this is very right uh, let me let me just this and uh, you can yeah this will work I guess this will work I guess uh, okay I have imported already this uh, this is not needed okay now you will require java.io.io exception and java.io.printwriter and also java.servlet.servlet exception servlet http.http servlet and servlet request and servlet response so servlet exception is for this particular class uh, that is http servlet i exception i have declared but uh, some, somehow it's getting problem so i will rewrite it i o exception now it's good now my program is perfect and i have created my first hello servlet class so this is for this particular tutorial we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna require for a few more things uh, to first uh, initialize our servlet in our web server local host server so that's it for this tutorial i hope you have liked it thanks for watching have a nice day